okay so right here in the environment checker what we will do we will create a public vector 3 by the name of array offset and this will be the position from where we want to cast array and as I told you in the previous video it will be from the player feet okay so this will be equals to new vector 3 okay for the x we will pass 0 for the y we will pass 0 0.2 f and for the z we will pass 0 okay this value might be different for you okay for now just ignore this but when we will be testing the environment checker you will get to know okay now after this we will create a public float by the name of ray length and this will be the total height of the ray cast okay or you can say that invisible ray so we want that our ray cast length or you can say height will be 0 0.9 f okay then we need a reference to our obstacle layer so for that we will say public layer mask and let's name this as obstacle layer and guys you can name your objects okay whatever you want but as you know that the obstacle is a uh, simple words to identify some object okay so we are using obstacle for that or else you can use object if you want as well because object is also a good word okay but okay now we have named it as obstacle so we will just stick to that now write down below for checking for the obstacle we need to create some function so let's name that function as check obstacle okay and now inside this function we will create a raycast okay and also let me tell you that how that raycast will work okay so for example if this is our player and we are creating a raycast from the player feed position from right here okay so constantly it will be creating a raycast okay so for example if that raycast hits this box okay consider this as that wooden box okay or that wooden barrel so if it hits this then it will get to know that this is a box or something and also it will measure the height of this box okay and then according to that height the player will perform the parkour okay so as you know this is the position from where we will be creating a raycast which is the player feet and then this is the ray length the total ray length okay because we don't want to perform parkour on huge buildings okay we just want to perform parkour on some small object for example the box and that table okay and also that stall for example okay and uh, also in the future videos we will be performing parkour on fences but that is another topic okay so that's why we have to set a ray length okay so now any object that is outside of this ray the player will not perform parkour on that object okay because of course it will be humanly impossible if we can perform parkour on some huge buildings okay so in the check obstacle now what we will do we will create a variable by the name of ray origin and this will be equals to transform dot position and as you know that this environment checker script will be on the player game object so this transform dot position means the player position okay we gonna plus that with the ray offset okay which is this one so on the player position we plus this ray offset so now what this basically will do this will select the player feet okay and now we want to create a raycast 
So for creating the raycast, we can use physics dot raycast and for the first parameter we will be giving the origin okay that from where we want to create a raycast so this the that position will be this ray origin so we will pass ray origin right there then we want to set the direction for that raycast that in which direction we want to create that raycast so it will be in the forward direction from the player feet into the forward direction so for that we will say transform dot forward okay very simple as that then we will use this out parameter and as I told you in the previous video in this out we store information about whatever that raycast hit so in this out we need to pass some raycast hit type variable so you can create that variable right here like this raycast hit and then you can name this as hit or hit info whatever you want okay and then you can call this hit info right here as well but we don't want to extend our code so what we will do we will just simply type all of that code right here okay so all of the information will be now stored in this hit info then now we want to restrict the raycast okay we want to say that this raycast won't be exceeding some limit and that limit will be the ray length so we will pass the ray length so now our raycast or you can say that ray won't exceed this ray length okay then after this we want to give the layer so the layer is as you know the obstacle layer so this will now create a raycast from the player feet in the forward direction and whatever that ray hit it will be stored in this hit info then we restrict the raycast by this ray length okay we told the raycast that you will not exceed this 0 0.9 F limit and then we want to know that if that ray hits this layer or not okay which is the obstacle layer so if it hits the obstacle layer then we will know that yes we have some obstacle in front of the player so now what we want right here we will create a pool by the name of hit found and if this hit found is true okay it means that if the ray cast hit something that is on the obstacle layer then this hit found will be true of course okay so now when this hit found is true what we want to do we want to draw some type of gizmo okay so that we know that if this ray cast hit, hit is hitting something that is on the obstacle layer or not so in order to do that you just need to type debug dot draw ray okay and right here we need the origin so we will say ray origin okay then we will say transform dot forward multiply that by the ray length and then right here we will say that if okay if this hit found is true okay then we will change the ray color to red and if it is false okay so else the color will be green or you can choose whatever color you want okay but I will just choose green and red so now if we found something that is on the obstacle layer the ray cast color will be red if it found something and if it doesn't found something then the color will be simply green now if we just simply save this and right here in the parkour folder let's create 
another C sharp script by the name of parkour controller script and if we open this up right here what we will do we will create a reference to our environment checker so we will say environment checker and let's name this as environment checker but right here the e will be small okay we will say environment checker dot what was the function name check obstacle so we will call check obstacle right here and that is it for the parkour controller script now if we click on our player let's attach this environment checker script right here then the parkour controller script in the parkour controller let's try and drop the environment checker script right there then as you know that in the previous video we have added the obstacle layer to all of the obstacle on which we want to perform parkour as you can see right there okay so we have the obstacle layer now if you click on the player right here on the obstacle layer we will select the obstacle right there and as you can see the rail length and everything is set up okay so if you click on the game view okay we want to play it on the small window let's play the game and if we turn on the gizmos as you can see right here we can see the raycast okay for now there is nothing in front of the ray as you can see it is green okay just as we type right here in the environment checker script if there is nothing in front of it which is on the obstacle layer then the color will be green and now if we get closer to something that is on the obstacle layer the color will be changed to red okay so let's get closer to this as you can see the color is changed to red okay if we get closer to this as you can see the color is changed to red and if we get closer to this the color change to red as well okay let's get closer to this now as you can see it is checking for the obstacles in the environment okay so it means that our environment checker is working perfectly fine and before ending this video if we play the game again if you see our player is uh, playing the idle animation a bit more okay so it mess up the player walking so in order to fix that if you click on the player model then animations right here in the idle animation as you can see it is a bit lengthy so what we will do we will simply decrease the length of the animation to 30 as you can see start 0 and 30 that is it if we click on apply that is it now if we play the game again now there will be no lag in the animations now as you can see the player start running instantly and he stop instantly as well as you can see there is no lag now and as you can see the environment checker is working perfectly fine okay